Ryan, Great what's the first here. thing that you either bought or are thinking about buying now that the Fed has spoken once again? Well, it goes back to what you just said, Liz. The, the one thing the Fed's not addressing is inflation. And, you know, you have to be living under a rock not to see the inflationary pressure right now. I mean, corn prices were up 8 percent last week. Wheat, soybeans are at the highest level since 1993. Housing prices up to 17 percent year over year in March. So I think the one theme here, the market's telling you, even if the Fed's not telling you it, they're ignoring that pink elephant in the room. Don't look at it. It's not there. Is inflationary pressure is <laughs> real. And you've got to have inflationary hedges in your portfolio. And that's what I'm seeing most investors right now are missing. OK, well, what are they uh, before I get to uh, Luke? Because I need to know, what are you buying? <laughs> well, I think uh, you want to have commodities in your portfolio. That's you know direct correlation to prices going up. Uh, you want to have foreign markets okay. in your portfolio as well, because we're starting to see a weaker dollar. And immediate profits become way more important than some of these growth stocks like Tesla that have profits priced in for 175 years. So I think old school stocks over new school stocks, whether it's like Delta Airlines as the economy reopens, that's going to be a great place Got to it. be. I love old school oil. Anything that's old school looks good.